Good morning, students of class 9. You are welcome back to the e classes now. We are doing history. Today's date is you can see there forest transformation in Java. We are doing second part of this uh, forest society and colonialism. This is second part forest transformation in Java. There is 4.3 we have reached Samin's challenge that is continued. In our previous class, we have learned about two points. So Simon challenged the Dutch government that they did not created the land, water, wind and earth. So naturally they do not own it. Now today we'll go through some more points. Number three, very soon the widespread movement developed in Java. Among those who helped organize it were Samin's son-in-law. He was the follower. By 1907, 3,000 families were following Samin's ideas. What was his idea? The Dutch did not create the natural resources in Java. So they do not own it. It belongs to the people of Java. So number four, some of the Saminists protested by lying down on the land. When the Dutch came to survey the land, they lay down on the low road so their, their horse carriage could not cross it. While others refused to pay taxes to the Dutch government or fines or perform free labor. So they started protesting in various ways by not paying the taxes but not performing free labor or sometimes they used to lie down on the road so that the Dutch government or the Dutch officials could not cross their horse carriages could not cross. So in this way they protested in a various way. Number five, as Suran Tiko Samin raised the voice against the ownership of the land and resources, his followers supported him and protested the Dutch government in this way. That is Suran, Kito, Suran Tiko Samin's challenge. Now in our next class we will do 4.4, the war and deforestation. How did the war led to the deforestation of uh, in Java? So we will be doing that in our next class. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your watching. Don't waste your time. Keep on studying at home.